Carroll Shelby was nothing if not resilient and picked himself up and worked on many other projects, went to Chrysler, uh, and eventually, of course, came back to Ford quite famously. Evolution. Charles Darwin was the first to bring this to the attention of the world and uh, helped generations of scientists track the changes in species. And the car I'm driving right now is a great example of evolution. This is a 1968 Shelby DT350. 68. Only three years after Carroll Shelby first transformed the Mustang into the amazing sports racing car that was the DT350R. And the DT350 street car, which is also incredibly successful on the track, was a car, while based on a Mustang, a very, very, very different animal. Anyone has had the incredible good fortune to drive one, as I have, and is a Mustang fan, as I am, is never less than amazed at what Shelby's crew did to the Mustang to make it such an incredible sports racing car with great speed, incredible handling, wonderful balance, everything you want in a car like that. Now, what typically happens, of course, is that success breeds change. And you always want to have as wide a market for your car as you possibly can. And a wider market demands things that are a little less austere. A few compromises have to come in. And you get some great benefits as well. 68 was the first time you could enjoy a Shelby Mustang as a convertible, like this car. It's a rare car, only about 400 of these were made. And for this year, 68, you could also have Shelbys in two flavors, the small block and the big block, much like the Cobra. And this is a small block. For 68, the 289 was gone and it's placed the new 302. And the 302 actually seemed to be a slightly backward step. It had less horsepower than the 289, but it delivered power in a very different way. A specially designed head gave much better lower end response, which again is something that people who drive the cars in the street really want. The second thing is, which is quite interesting, is the Shelby-ness of this convertible, because high-performance convertibles are generally a great compromise. What you get in terms of a slight weight saving, although this car is a power top, so the weight saving is slightly reduced, and the great atmosphere of the world around you, you lose in torsional stiffness in the body. And I have to say that Shelby did a great job in this car because there is no cowl shake. The car feels absolutely rock solid, not a squeak, not a rattle. And this is also very interesting because 68 was the first year that the Shelby cars were not modified by Shelby American in California, but modified in Michigan instead. So Ford is bringing the entire project a little closer to home. And one of the great surprises about driving this car is its refinement. You don't think of Shelby GT350 and refinement in the same sentence. But this is a car that feels much like the modern Mustangs. Obviously, suspension and tires and all of that notwithstanding. It's very interesting because it, it is a, an indication of where high-performance Mustangs would go. Now, the power is still there. 
you put your foot down and it delivers even in the automatic version like I'm driving right now it's also interesting this particular example uh, Carol Shelby was terrific at uh, handing out his autograph at Shelby events and meets and uh, so many people thought that wonderful distinctive Carol Shelby signature this car has no fewer than three Carol Shelby autographs on the sun visor on the dashboard and on the top boot but that notwithstanding the real signature of Carol Shelby is in the car itself and this is one of those cars that surprises you think it's going to be one thing and it proves to be quite another and for me that's one of the best kinds of cars because in my journey of exploring cars I like to be if not surprised I like to be pleasantly engaged in a way I hadn't inspected and that's what this car does this is an amazingly satisfying car to drive especially as a convertible on a beautiful fall day like this is I probably would want to have a little bit more weight in the power steering it's very light very smooth but this is a very powerful car as well and the lightness of the power steering seems to be slightly incongruous but it doesn't mean that I don't have security and stability and confidence in this car I do I have to also say that this is a very attractive car this beautiful light metallic green with the white stripes is absolutely beautiful and it softens the very aggressive styling that the car has especially at the nose and it was very interesting and again a great example of practicality that the 68 Shelby's have that wonderful nose with a big hood scoop and, and the nostrils and also the 65 Ford Thunderbird taillights those very distinctive taillights with the uh, sequential signals so it has a totally different look than a standard 68 Mustang so everybody on the road knows that you're driving something very special and this is a very special car indeed give it a little power into a turn it responds instantly the chassis is great great brakes as well this is a car that really puts a smile on my face and I think it'll put a smile on the face of anyone who drives it it was not long after of course that uh, monkey Knutson came over from General Motors and uh, expunged all traces of Shelby from the Mustang performance program and more is the pity I mean Carol Shelby was nothing if not resilient and picked himself up and worked on many other projects went to Chrysler uh, and eventually of course came back to Ford quite famously and I think that this is really where his passion was and it really shows through this car I am so incredibly impressed with a convertible now of course look at that roll hoop behind me which is there not just for safety but also for the stability that it gives the body and again, a very typically Carroll Shelby-esque thing to do. This is a fabulous open performance car. Every bit the match for the big AC 428. What the Triumph Stag could have been. This is an amazing car, and I love it. Thank you, Carroll Shelby. Thank you, Ford. This is an amazing experience.